not exactly ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down, but first pitch is just around the corner. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Durham Bulls. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Kevin Ibarra will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy comes into this start, Matt, having lost two of his last three starts, so you know he wants to get off on the right foot in this one. One of the keys, getting outs early and establishing his... Digging in next, Eddie James, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, Matt, he's so difficult to hit from both sides of the plate, but his eyes light up when he's hitting left-handed against the right. He's out on the mound. He's been torching them all year long. From the belt, the pitch. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Yeah, Matty, this definitely looks like a situation where somebody's going to have to call a team meeting. I don't know if it comes from a veteran or the manager decides to close the doors for a second, but this team has not played well. They find themselves losing lately. Ready now is Malik Ziegler. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. And now here is Eddie James. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. At one time right now. That ball no ball. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, the next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. Three and two now. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Kyle Farmer. And a fastball swung on and hit the second. And that's out number one. New inning set to get underway. And standing in as the switch hitting second baseman, Eddie James. Bouncer to the left side, fielded cleanly. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Gabe Weaver, no hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Hit out towards second. The tag gets one on the first. And talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. Dakota Mekas has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Stepping in once again is Eddie James. 0 for 3 to this point. 
Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Well, you don't need us to tell you. It's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much nope. longer Travel. if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, One around the mound, right and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Now here it comes. Hit softly down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Come on, big dog. Pitch. Nobody's better. Lifted down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that will bring in the second baseman, Franklin Barretta. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that. So that'll put a wrap on things here this here evening. For my partners, Dan team. Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Iowa Cubs and the Durham Bulls. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Daryl Reedy will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks. And that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Ziegler is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. So stepping in is Luis Toribio, and their runners at the corners now. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. He's got it to second for one. On to first, and it's a double play, though that first run of the ball game is across to score. It certainly looked like they might have had a big inning cooking there with first and third and no outs, but the double play kind of kills it. They did get the run in, but the batter doesn't get credit for an RBI. Striding in is Christian Kelly. He's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Next to dig in, Eddie James. And he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. First pitch on its way. Back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. A runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a two to one ball game. Next it'll be Mike Ford trying here to plate the tying run from second. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Lieber is there two down. Now with the plate is Gavin Sheets. Now base knocked to the outfield could score the tying yeah, run from second. Three and one, here it is. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Up next steps Kristen Stewart, trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Three balls, no strikes. And that misses, ball four. A run will come in to score. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen 
this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good. In the box, Eddie James. He's one for two in the ball game. Eddie James. First offering on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ziegler is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. So runners at the corners with two guns. The and the exciting eight. middle infielder Second Franklin Barreto bats Franklin. next. Ball. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. So the next to bat will be Eddie James. Flew out last time up. Eddie. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Runs up to bunt here, but he missed it for strike one. Try to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. Whitlock is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So now to the plate, Eddie James. He's got one hit in four at-bats. Fly ball right down the line and left. Ziegler able to track it down for the third out. So next to hit is Alec Thomas, who comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? Scooped up to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Great job of hustle there by the base runner. This was a fun game to watch all the way around. There was lots of action. 12 total runs scored on the board and a Our pretty close finish to boot. 7-5 tonight's Iowa final. Cubs. The Cubs Seven led this the game from the third hit. inning on Two and never wavered. Left 15 men on base. Stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, the rubber match of this three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Durham Bulls. We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Todd Knight, a left-hander from Massachusetts, will be doing the starting pitching here. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can round do it, more, round it, round it, round Meanwhile, round it. this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. Get here, hold it, hold it, hold it right James here. James blows through the stop sign, headed for home. And the runner stuck in a pickle between third base and home. And they will slap the tag on him heading back to third as he really got stuck out there. Next to hit, Eddie James. He was gunned down at the plate trying for an inside the park home run his first time up. Yeah, you know what? And I don't blame him, guys. I don't know who got greedy, if the third base coach was waving him right there. But it would have been awesome if he did make it all the way around. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect Outside, him to catch something the clean. The count now at two and two. One up there, huh? Into the windup and the pitch. Turned on down the line. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Wow, I'm not sure how, but it looks like he didn't even touch this thing. Might have been thinking about throwing the ball before it, he actually caught it. The game moves fast, but you have to do one thing at a time. So two down and a runner at first, and here is the outfielder, Mike Ford. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and they'll get him in second, and with that, the side is retired. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Lamont Lofton. Now a ball rolls softly to second. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Next up, Eddie James. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. Hit the other way out toward right field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. So next to bat will be Eddie James. He flew out in his last A.B. First pitch on its way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. And stepping in, Luis Toribio trying here to plate the tying run from second. Sent on the ground out to second. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. The Iowa Cubs took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Robbie Siegel with his fourth win this season. Todd Knight to settle with a loss after giving up.